The Pullman National Historical Park on the south side of Chicago is well known for many things. Its bold architecture and urban design, the role it's played in civil rights and labor history, the technological advances in transportation, and the impact the community has had on preservation over the decades. But one story that has largely been untold is now about to take center stage. It's the stories of the workers. The Pullman House Project has developed a series of Pullman residences which will be used as exhibits to interpret the life in the town. Since 1881, tens of thousands of workers lived in the historic town and developed train cars that helped expand the reach of people across the globe. The new Welcome Center at 605 East 111th Street in Pullman National Historical Park will be the starting point for ticketed, guided tours. This former home was the largest and most significant residential property in Pullman. The interior featured 11-foot-high ceilings, cherry wood millwork throughout, and a wide outdoor veranda overlooking Florence Boulevard. The ongoing renovation has restored three original nine-foot-tall windows in what was the family dining room, and will also restore the open veranda. Around 1900 until the early 1940s, the house was converted to use as the Pullman Club for executives and managers of the Pullman Industrial Complex. Local preservationists have even restored two beautiful stained glass windows in the stairway with PC, Pullman Club, embedded in the glass. In addition to the Welcome Center, the Pullman House Project guided tours will use selected Pullman housing units as backdrops to tell the stories of workers and their families in the places they called home. These homes will provide visitors with a window into the living conditions and stories of Pullman workers and their families, such as the Dunbars, the Jordans, and the Davidsons. The Dunbar House is a 10-room executive mansion. It's being depicted in the time that Thomas Dunbar lived there with his family, from 1898 to 1906. Visitors will meet the Dunbar family and track their lives from Wick, Scotland, to their homes here in Pullman. Visitors can also take tours of recreated homes of former residents who lived in this Honeymoon Row apartment in 1890. This is a small workers three room home, one of four original units in the building. This amazing unit still has an original water closet. You'll also see an early shoe repair business used to repair boots used by Pullman workers. With your support, future homes will include a typical workers row house, additional honeymoon row units recreated for the periods of World War I and World War II. Another residence will celebrate the World's Columbian Exposition. After touring the homes at the Pullman House Project, we hope that you'll leave with a better understanding of Pullman workers who came to this town to improve the lives for themselves and their families, and in the process, help build our nation.